Hi friends, welcome to my channel Data Making. In this video, I am going to discuss about uh, the one of the commonly used uh, transformation called flat map. Okay, let me minimize my recording window. Okay, so we are in the uh, PySpark 101 tutorial. So uh, this is the my uh, fifth uh, video on uh, PySpark 101 tutorial. So in this tutorial, we'll actually uh, uh, go through this program. Uh, which uses the flat map uh, transformation. Uh, what is flat map transformation? Uh, flat map transformation return a new RDD, okay, by applying a function to all elements in this RDD, okay, uh, then it will flatten the results. That means basically uh, what map transformation does is say, example, you have a, 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 a list, okay, you take a, a RDD, okay, which is built on uh, uh, using a number uh, uh, list of which contains number. Okay, so you can iterate uh, each number. Okay, you can do some uh, uh, manipulation on that. That's what we can do it in the map transformation. In the flat, flat map transformation, it's also similar to map, but each element can be mapped to zero or more items, which means you can actually take a particular, say example, you take a particular uh, string, okay, uh, or you can line, you can take a line, okay, you can convert into words and you can flatten, like okay. So if you take a line which contains a, a five word, you can actually split into using the space separator. You can actually convert into five word. I can you can actually turn into uh, the columns as a uh, columns. Okay. So we'll actually uh, uh, go to the, go through the program and you will understand more about it. Okay. So as usual, so you just import the uh, PySpark libraries and if you have any Python libraries, you can uh, export it. Okay. Then I we create a Spark session object. Okay, uh, then I am going to uh, show you two example. Okay, one is I created a, a list which contains uh, uh, three string. Okay, each string contains uh, numbers in comma separator. Okay, so what is that number contains is uh, uh, so that numbers is actually uh, it is a string. Okay, uh, sorry for the interruption. Okay, so minimize this recording window. Okay, so uh, uh, what I'm saying is, I took a, uh, a list, okay, which contains three string. This first string contains uh, numbers one to five. Second string contains number uh, nine, eight, six to ten. Okay, the third string contains number starting from eleven to fifteen. Okay, we have a three st three uh, string items in this list. Okay, I will convert this uh, uh, into RDD using the parallelize method. Okay, so I am converting into uh, three uh, partitions. Okay, so each partition will have one one uh, uh, items. Okay, so I am going to apply a flat map. What flat map does is, okay, it takes a function. What is the function? I am actually passing an anonymous function. Okay, using the lambda keyword. Okay, I am taking each element. Okay, I am splitting. Uh, I am splitting using a uh, comma separator. What happens? It, this will take first this element will come okay this string the string value will come it will convert uh, you, it will split basically based on that comma then you get a one comma two comma three comma four right that entire if you just split by time you'll get a list okay so a particular string if you separate by something then you get a list right that list will get transpose okay so you get actually after processing this first element you get uh, RDD of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 as a uh, uh, column. Okay. Then if it takes second, third, so it will go as how many elements you have. So basically, it takes element and it actually applies this function and it transposes the values. I will show you how it is changed. Okay. So that is one example. What is the second example? Uh, I am taking the previous uh, uh, input which I showed you, a uh, technical overview. Okay. In the technical overview, we actually put what is the uh, uh, some text okay so we have a uh, six lines of uh, uh, um, uh, six lines of text in this okay so we are going to take this uh, uh, file okay so it is it is in the linux directory so we are use prefix with the file uh, colon slash less and followed by the path we have to give okay if you are reading a linux file system okay so you take this file convert so it will get rdd so in this rd what i am going to do i am going to actually split each element and with a, a space separator so that your each uh, word in that line okay the line will be converted into words and it will transpose 
so this will be very handy when you do this word count program uh, okay so basically what this flat map does is it actually converts uh, uh, it iterates uh, each element and applies your function and then the result will be transposed okay so uh, that's what they say it uh, the function should return a sequence rather than the single item those and then then it will actually uh, uh, transpose okay let us run this program and check okay i'm running so it is going to create the uh, spark session object and those list a python list which we created and then it takes it's going to convert into rdd using a parallelized method and then it is actually uh, now it will it will actually apply the uh, flat transformation and it will give you the result so it is applying this uh, flat transformation see here so each uh, uh, each value i'll show you here okay so uh, so it actually took we split it then into all things become one uh, 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 list okay so it is transpose it become column uh, so actually i just displayed you uh, in a, uh, a result of this uh, flat rdd i just put it as a uh, collect so it is showing you one you can show one by one also so in the second example we see here see it took this line this line it splitted using the space separator so apache apache is a one word and spark is one word is so it is converted to this is this one line into one line converted into words and it is transposed like this so this is how the flat map works okay uh, thank you so much friends if you have any clarification on this put it on the comment section